Hey, do you ever wonder why like barber and stylists feel like they can't get from behind the chair? Listen. So my name is Arthur Lau and I've also struggled with this is like how to actually get from behind the chair. And I, I feel like I've been stuck, like stuck in a place where like that I just can't get over that hump. So listen here, like I want to share with you like there are some things that like in this industry that that keeps us from being great and keeps us from actually getting from behind the chair and actually learning to own the chair. Okay, so one of the things is, is that the reason why people are so stuck behind the chair is because they're comfortable, right? So they're, com they're comfortable with, you know, making the fast cash because this is an industry where, you know, you can, you can, depending on how you are set up, you know, whether you're an independent contractor or employee, it doesn't matter, but it, how you are set up is, plays a big part on, you know, your mindset. So it's fast cash. You can make money fast, uh, make money daily. You know, your tips, take your tips home or whatever your commissions are. So it's easy to make money in this business, you know, especially if you have a skill. You know, if you're talented in, you know, cutting or styling or coloring hair, like it's very easy to actually make an income for yourself. The other thing is, is that, that we are trained, you know, with that skill and we are trained to do a job. And that job that we're doing to like our customers is something that we're really good at. We're, we've, we've trained and honed ourselves to be really skillful at that. But what we really did and what we don't realize is that um, we've just created another job for ourselves. You know, when you only, when you're creating a job, there's uh, this famous acronym for the word job. And I don't know if you've heard of this, but it's, it actually stands for just over broke. So when you create a job for yourself, you know, you really only give yourself an opportunity to make just enough to just stay afloat. And you really don't have enough opportunity to have a recurring income. So to actually elevate your next level. So unless you start to actually put value, you know, from another asset. And the other thing is that it's a lot of times it's our only income. Like, so think about that. Like most millionaires and most wealthy people, they have multiple streams of income. But when you're behind this chair and you feel, and the reason why you feel stuck behind this chair is because you realize that this is the only way I'm making uh, the uh, income and taking care of the things I need to take care of. So um, if you, at the end of the day, if you are willing to, you know, just take some risk on, your, on some of your, yourself and your, your skills and your, and your talents, because I know you have the talent, then work on creating yourself a new income rather that's and it could be just as simple as even in the industry right it's upselling a product or you know maybe creating your own product or selling t-shirts you know giving come up with your own brands or you know just adding additional services you know open up your own business own barbershop and, and leveraging the the efforts and the labor the fruits of the labor and you know creating jobs for other people so there's so many different facets and but at the end of the day, you just want to create an additional income so you don't have to feel stuck behind a chair. So hopefully that brings you value. And hopefully, you know, with these videos, you don't feel like you're stuck behind a chair. So um, and until next time, my name is Arthur Lau. Peace and love.